Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Very soon, Skylum Software will be releasing another extension for Luminar Neo. This extension is called Focus Stacking. I was able to get a beta version of this extension, and in today's video, I'm going to demo how to use it. Now, very quickly, Skylum Software is currently having a Halloween sale. In the description below this video, I'll have my affiliate link and a discount code. Please note that if you choose to click on my affiliate link and you purchase anything from their website, I will make a commission on the sale. What you purchase, of course, doesn't cost you any more. Now, as far as focus stacking is concerned, for those of you that may not be familiar with it, if you ever encounter a scene or maybe you're photographing a subject and you need that subject or scene to be perfectly in focus from the very front all the way through to the very back. But the limitations of the gear you're using won't allow you to do that. What you can do is take a series of images and in each of those images, you put the focus point in a different spot along the scene or along the subject. That way, you have a number of images that are all focused at different points along the scene. Then in post-production, you merge those together and you end up with one image that, is, that has perfect focus from front to back. For example, I have this image of this um, leaf. And what I did on this first shot is I focused way up here in the front. You could see how the front part of the stem is in good focus. Then what I did is I moved my focus point up along that stem and took this shot. Then I moved it up a little more along the stem and took this shot. And I kept doing that. And you can see once it renders, it takes a second to kick in. You'll see that the focus is moving from the very front through towards the very top of the leaf. So you can see. Now, this focus stacking technique is often used in macro photography. I happen to take this a photo with a Nikon Z7 II and a 105 millimeter Nikon macro lens. It's not limited to macro photography though. You may encounter a situation where you have to shoot in very low light and use a wide open aperture, maybe f1.4 or 1.8, something like that. And in those situations, of course, you have very shallow depth of field. So what you may want to do, if you can, is put your camera on a tripod and then use your camera to focus in the very front part of the scene and then continually take shots and move that focus point like I did on this leaf further back along the scene towards the back. Then in post-production, you can merge those all together and have an image that, is, that has perfect focus from front to back. Now, to use focus stacking in Luminar Neo, what you need to do is get your images in Luminar Neo. I have them in a folder over here that I called Focus Stacking, and there's nine different images. Then you'll notice when you're in the catalog section of Luminar Neo, over here on the right-hand side, you have Focus Stacking. It's right below HDR Merge if you bought that extension as well. So what we need to do is get all of these images into this area over here on the right. And to do that, I'm just going to click on the first one. Go down to the last one in the series of nine, hold the shift key and click on that. You can see now they're all selected. Now I'll just drag them over here to this box and let go. Now they're all in this box. Now, one thing I want to make note, um, you may notice a little bit as I go through these images, it looks like I'm zooming out a little bit as I go. Even though my camera was on a tripod, see I'm back to the first image. See how it kind of popped in and then it's moving back. Well, this lens is not a zoom lens, so it had nothing to do with zooming. Uh, with some lenses, actually most lenses, when you focus, particularly macro lenses, when you're focusing very closely on something, um, there's something called focus breathing, and it gives you the effect that you're zooming out a little bit. So as it achieves focus throughout the scene, it kind of pushes the subject away a little bit. So... When you use an application to do focus stacking with most, most applications, you're going to have to tell it which image is the reference image, meaning we're going to uh, make sure the other images fit this so that we get a perfectly focused image from front to back. So to do that, what you'll do is click on this little gear, and you'll see here the reference image. Now, by default, it will pick one around the middle. Um, I suggest you go with that and see how it works. If it doesn't work, 
what I suggest you do is go to the one extreme, either to the first image you took in the stack or the last image you took in the stack and see how that works out. But I'm going to go with the default image. They're doing the fifth image, which is of the nine. It's around the middle. And we'll go with that. Now, you also have the option to have the software remove any chromatic aberration that might have occurred. Uh, this is a very good lens, has very little or no chromatic aberration in most lighting conditions. So I'm not going to check that. Um, it doesn't hurt if you check it if you're not sure. It will just take longer for the software to actually do the, the stack. So it will just take longer. So I'm not going to check it just for time's sake. So we have these nine, nine images. I guess it probably is going to take around a minute to stack them. So we'll click on stack, and you can see that we get this kind of waiting circle here. So all you need to do now is sit back and wait. So what I'm going to do, so you don't listen to me blab, I'll pause the video, and I'll restart it when the stack is done. It's not going to be very long, though. We're at 12.52 up here on my clock, top right-hand corner, and we'll pause now. Okay, it's done. You can see the clock is 12.53. It took less than a minute. Um, what it will do when it creates this stacked image is it will put it in its own folder that it creates. It called it focus stacking. Now I happen to call the image that had the nine images in it focus stacking as well. But it will put the stacked image in this folder called focus stacking. You can see it right there. Now, one thing to note, I mentioned that those nine images were taken with the Nikon Z7 II. They were RAW files, Nikon RAW files. When it does the stack, what you'll have is a TIFF file. Now, you can't see it, but you can see it says underscore DSC, and then it kind of fades away. This is a TIFF file, just so you know. And let's look at it. So we'll zoom in, let it render, probably take a second. But you can see now it has perfect focus from front to back. And now I could go in and edit this image as I would any other image. So I'll go to the Develop module, and I'll pull in the highlights a little bit, open up the shadows just a tad. Going to bring these down quite a bit, bring that up a little bit. And I'm going to go to color, and we're going to add some saturation. And we'll go to sharpness, and I'm going to add a lot of sharpness. And I think we'll, we're done with the develop. I'll jump down to structure, and we're going to add a lot of structure. I want to bring out the veins of the, of the leaf. So there it is. I mean, I mean, just you know, you could um, process it as you would normally process an image to your taste. I probably overdid it with the structure. But as you can see, it's in perfect focus from the bottom, which was closest to the camera, all the way to the very top. Now, I didn't bother doing uh, taking extra shots, meaning see how this background leaf back here is out of focus? I could have uh, took another image and focused back there and got that in focus, but I thought it would make this leaf pop out a little more if I had some blurriness up there. So I didn't bother focusing on that leaf that is way off in the background, or even this leaf that is more down towards the, this was on my kitchen counter, uh, towards the counter, the island in our, in our kitchen. So that's it. That's really how easy it is to use focus stacking in uh, Luminar Neo. And by the way, uh, when it is available, if it doesn't automatically prompt you to update Luminar Neo, what you could do is go here, check for updates right there. And then if you don't have the um, focus stacking then here, after you update Luminar Neo, what you do is click on this little puzzle piece right here, and this will show you all the extensions, what you have installed and what you have ordered. You could see that the HDR merge is installed, the noiseless AI is installed, Upscale AI is pre-ordered, background removal is pre-ordered, focus stacking is installed, and so on. And that's this is where you manage your extensions through that little puzzle piece that is right there. So again, in the description below this video, I have a link to their website. Just remember uh, that is my affiliate link, and I will make a commission if you purchase anything using it. And I do appreciate everyone's kind support. And thank you all for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.